Hello everyone, it's Honey again with uh, part four of my um, lab book a la Nick the Booksmith. Um, I was um, with a friend last week and uh, well we were crafting together, oh, I was with two friends and uh, those friends are working on a lab book too. Well, one does and the other one wants to make a lab book. So we worked on the lab book. But I couldn't uh, record it because I was with my friend and uh, at home. So um, I did a little stuff there. Um, but first I want to tell you uh, Nick made in her, well after this she made these flaps and she decorated it with more uh, pockets and, and, and things. Uh, she made this uh, with flaps too but I didn't do that. I started with this piece of my lab book with my friend here and that's uh, the flap out pages. And she made them of, uh, I think it was file folders too, but, well, I don't have them. Well, I'm lying a bit, because I uh, went to the store, a local store, the Action, and they had uh, these things. Uh, well, they're not real file, yes, they are file folders, but not as thick, and it's not Manila. This is a bit thicker. But I think I can use them as a, um, how do we call that, example. Yes, to draw the tabs on, uh, on other pieces of cardstock, of cardboard I have. Uh, so I'm not going to use that file folder of map, but I'm still going to use... Um, some cardstock and I glued one, two, three pieces of cardstock together with tape with a, a gap between it with packing tape and here you see a gap and this is well it's a bit more than a half page in length and I did that too. So I have three and, well, a bit more than a half page glued together. And what I did is um, glued one page, the back page, this one, because I want to glue it on like so. And then this is going to flap this way. You can't see it, but... Well, I think you can imagine how it flaps. And um, I made one, uh, well, I don't know how you call it, but pocket. One thing you can put in there. Do I have a tag here somewhere? Yeah, I have a tag here. So if you have a tag, you can just put that. In. Well, this is with laces, it's going a bit difficult, but you can just put it in, or just papers, or whatever. Um, I was busy with that, so I'm going further with that. What I did, and Nick does it different, she uh, makes these things, the... Well, the reinforces. She made them and she glued them on. And then she had a crocodile put some holes in it and then cut that out. But I don't have a crocodile. I only have a little... Oh, this isn't the one. No, this is the one. Uh, 
that's all I have with a little hole. I don't know if you can see it, the how little the hole is. Well, that's... Come on. Well, now you see it. Oh, now that's a very little hole. Well, I can't get there. It's too... Well, you know what I mean. So I have to do it in a different way. And, well, I made them like so. And what I did then is look for the place where I want it. Somewhere like this. Then take a pencil and draw a stripe so you can see it, the stripe. Well, I cut that out already. Here I have a stripe, you see? Uh, where it is here. Here is the stripe. Well, I can't. Here it is. And what I do next is cut that out. I did that. You can see that better here. This this went a bit wrong, but that doesn't matter because it's covered up by that reinforcer. And here I cut it out. So I'm gluing this right on, like so. And this one I will cut out. But I will show you later. The first thing I want you to tell is the dimensions of those papers. And that's uh, one paper is. 22 uh, centimeters and 3 millimeters and inches it's 8 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 eighth, eighths, eighths of an inch 8, 6 eighths <laughs> and the length is in centimeters 29 and a half centimeter and in inches 11 1 2 3 4 5 8 11 5 8 of an inch yeah um, the last the small one well I just got it well the height is the same but I the width is of well, 5 inches 13 centimeters it's not exactly, but around that. Uh, so, and then I glued, or I stick them together with uh, packing tape. One moment, please. With this stuff. Just packing tape. With a gap, I told you. And then I glued old vintage papers on it, of paper on it. I have a few more here, Ooh, which I will use to glue on the others. So I'm use some music paper or paper has written on. My iPad, iPad fell on the floor on oh, moment. I have to pick it up. <laughs> I recommend uh, when you um, want to make a big map like this that you have a lot of space to fold it out because my space is a bit too small. Well, it's big enough, but it's very small when you have to flap everything out and well, I have no room to put some things in another place, so things fell and or fall, well, whatever. So, uh, I'm going 
further with this flap and I'm putting away my map. It's uh, when you have the map like this and then it's this part I'm working on. I can glue it here if I want to. Maybe I'm, I'm going to do that. I'm not sure. And do other flaps here. Well, we'll see. I want to follow Nick's um, way of making the lab book, but well, it's different anyway. So, I will put that away for a while because I don't need it when I'm working on this thing. So, um, I want you to show this. Is this big enough? No, this is not big enough. What I use for that is, I have to look for it, for that paper. I think this is the paper. Yes, it's cardstock. I think 260 or 230 grams. Uh, I cut a stroke. Or a, 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 do we, uh, it's a stroke, I think. No, it's not a stroke. A stroke is something else. I always forget that word. Well, it's uh, in centimeters, 15 centimeters, and in inches. Oh, sorry. Five, seven eighths of an inch. And this is yeah, what what well I'm doing it over again. I I I didn't know what, what I said. Uh, the length is uh, 14 it's not 15 yeah and about 15 centi 14.8 centimeters and inches I said five and then eight Five, oh, five, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six eighths of an inch. And the width is two centimeters, one and a half inch, round about. You don't have to do it exactly. Oh, I did it this way, I see. Well, I got a stroke. I will make one. Just like, well, I will get my pencil like so, uh, and the knife, you can cut it with your cutter, but I do it with the knife this time, I hope I should do it this way because I have to put my head in front because I can't see it like so and then I have my corner punch and I round the corners like so And then uh, well I didn't know how I measured that but that's just eyeballed it I think so I can do it this way just in the middle it's a bit bigger I give you the measurements. Well, it's one and a half centimeters from the edge. Yes, one and a half in the middle. 
just a few little dots and I use this one to make a little hole in it. Oh, that's not, I can't see it. Sorry. Like so, and this one. Like so. So I have two little holes here. And then cut this with a knife. Like so. And another one a bit lower. So you have a well, a little stroke like this cut out. There you see it. Just a little stroke cut out. Well, that's it. And then uh, distress it. Well, with vintage photo in this case. So, and now you have your reinforcer. So, that's the way I did it. And then I showed you already oh yeah, I glued a piece of paper on it, old paper, distressed it, distressed it. I want to distress this a bit too. I didn't do that yet. Like so. And like I said, I um, lay it down where I want to have it. And in my case, I want to lay them here because here are words I don't like. I like uh, the page, but I didn't like uh, there was uh, the word Orlog, that's war. And here is a word, well, he, this man has a name, well, it's a bit odd name in Dutch. I won't translate it. And here is war too somewhere oh yeah here so I don't like that too so I will cover that up like so and I draw a line and now I will cut that out that line I did already do this one I glued it on and I did cut out this one and now will I I will cut out this one I will zoom a bit in I will cut out this one like so and a bit underneath oh. let's just cut that out so you have cut such a stroke out uh, stroke uh, oh And now I will glue it on. This one. Um, I did distress it, so I will glue the back on. It's a blue glue stick print. I have to put 
my head in the way because I else I don't see it. This is okay, honey. This is and this is yeah. Like so. Is that good? And do I have to put it a bit? I eyeball it. I think this is okay. Yeah. Like so. And the third one. Which one is it? This one, I think. Or was it this one? This one. So. Like so. Like so you can now you can see it a bit more. Yeah, this is the part I glue on the lab book. Uh, well, Nick did it that way. She did it, but later on she um, well she had uh, comments on her uh, video, and there are some. Uh, people said, for, well, what if you put something in it and it disappears behind it, so you can't get it anymore. So you, if you want to, you can glue envelopes behind it, or something like that. Some, uh, if you have a paper, well, you can make uh, sort of sleeves. I will. This is the width. Well, that's not important. I can do it in A4. But um, how did she do that? Like so. This is the height. Well, that's not straight, honey. Well, she did envelopes, I think. But this is the way you can do it too. Um, scissors. Just copy paper. And well, this is a bit too high, but because I want to glue this above, I want to glue it that way. And this part, I don't know if you can see it, but there is the, well, I want to, do, to glue that on the bottom of the, 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 the piece I cut out, like so, I will cut that off, then you can see what I mean. So you have um, this, you see, this is shorter than this. This is going to glue above and this is glued on here, like so. Glue it on here and I glue that there, well I can glue one, why not. Um, If I want to, yeah. why not? I can glue one on. No, I want to do. Um, no, I don't want to do that. I can uh, glue this on, maybe. Uh, I will um, make an example because I don't want to glue pockets behind it. 
because I want to uh, be able to stick long things in it. And when I make a pocket, well, I can't. So, but I will make an example for you. So I just cut something out here. Pretending that's your pocket. So that's not pretending this is the, whoops the same. It's a bit bigger, but you get the picture, I guess. Uh, well, you can cut this in the width of this, but you can leave it this way. But to make it a bit clearer, I will cut a piece off. I hope it's big enough. Yes. So I will glue this piece like so. Well, I'll take some glue. Uh, yeah. Behind it. Or I can do it this way. Just a bit of glue and uh, like so, yeah, the big one in front, the small one in the back and then glue it on there like so and then at the top A bit of glue and on the sides a bit of glue. Yeah, you see it. And then glue it like so. Now you have, and this is done then in front like so. And you can put something in, I hope. So this is in front and well, you see, you can just put, and it doesn't go further than this. So that's a way to solve that problem. But like I said, I won't do that because I want to be able to stick uh, long pieces into my pocket. Oh, well, that's an idea too. <laughs> but that I can do long pieces like so. So this is ready. And I'm not gluing it on the lab, lab book, not yet, just to clean it up a bit here, and now I will glue some nice paper on this. Uh, what? can I use? I had several pieces. Uh, yeah. I can do this one. I won't do that one. Music paper. Don't know if it's big enough. Oh, I like this one. This one I like. This one I like, and this one is too small, I think. Yeah, this one is too small, because I want to cover it all. So I can't use that. And those are, well, this is the Netherlands. And this is my uh, 
oh yeah, I can show you that. This is the Netherlands, and in this part, that's Friesland. That's where I live, and this is Friesland, and that's that piece bigger, and I live around, well, if you see, those are two lakes, and I live around here, somewhere, there. There do I live. And this piece of the Netherlands, and if I get the Netherlands with it, it's, uh, well, somewhere here. Well, maybe you think that's nice to know. Can use this one. Oh, this is Suriname. Maybe I use on it. This is color. I don't want to use color. I think no. I don't want to use color. Too much color. Um, this is big enough. Yes, that's big enough. And this one is big enough. I want to use. This piece, I think. Uh, I want to use this piece of paper. Like so. So I will mark, make marks. Where is my pencil? Oh, yeah. I will make marks, just line the paper up here, here, like so, and make a mark here, and the length, mark it up, like so, and then Put a mark here. Now I will cut that. I hope. Yeah. I'll take my little one. I can do it afterward. Well, well, no, I can't do that because I can't cut it out. I, I should say uh, I can do it afterwards when I glued it on. Oh, this is pattern paper. It's nice too, though. This is nice too, but I think I'm going to use this piece like so. It's been covered up anyway for a big part. Uh, there are a few strokes I don't like. So I will glue this on. Uh, do it with glue too. I hope it sticks. This is uh, a blue stick, so you can see where the glue is going. But I'm not sure if it's dry and transparent or white. So, or maybe it's staying blue.
so I will clean it up here a bit because that's blue over there. Like so. Well, I will leave. Oh, I don't know, you can't see it, but underneath here is a little blue spot. So, when it's dry and it's still blue, I know that it doesn't change colors. So, it's a bit blue there. Well, like that. And now I want to so clean that up a bit. To do this one, I can do music paper, I think. Or should I do something else? This one, music paper, I can use somewhere else. Like this one, The glue is dry and it's still blue, so I have to be careful. You see? It's still blue. It's still blue. I don't like that print. So I won't use blue glue. So this is the piece I will glue. And those three pieces I got old paper on it and now I have to do the back side those three not this one because that's gl be glued on the lap book so I will cover this up with um, paper too old paper vintage papers too and when I'm ready with that I'll be back I think I had them all yeah this doesn't have to. This one with music paper and with, um, well, you see, pattern paper like that, music paper, and that's from a music book too, and that's from the pattern paper, and that's that. This, I glued them all. And this is how it's going to fold, hup, 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 like so, I think, yeah, well, like that. Uh, oh, I have to cut a bit off there, I see, yeah. Oh yeah, and the blue glue, I used yellow glue too, well, that's going to stay yellow too, of course. But I wiped the most off with a baby wipe, and that works fine. Here I have a bit, and well, you can just wipe it off, off with a baby wipe. And then it's okay. Uh, this is the back. Here's a bit blue. And this is okay, this is okay, so, and now I will think about what to do with this, or leave it this way, 
I think I can glue it in my lab book, I think. Let's do that. I can decorate it later. And I don't think I'm going to show something this time. Not sure yet, but well, when it's in, it's in. Uh, have to think where I should glue that. Here or there. I leave it this way, loose. I won't glue it in yet. I can do that later if I want to. So I will close the book now and uh, the next video that will be part five I think. Well maybe <laughs> I know it then but I will do something else with my lab book. Uh, I'll see you then. Thank you for watching. Bye!